The largest hotel in New York City now open for business. The New York Hilton isn't only taking reservations, it's also taking back more than 300 employees who were out of work due to the pandemic. Yeah, and despite that good news, half of New York City hotel workers still remain laid off and uncertain on when and if they will be called back to work. This pandemic hurt everyone, but few people took it on the chin more than the members of the Hotel Trades Council because your livelihood was gone. It was gone. Yes. And we knew it wasn't coming back right away. So yes, we're bringing the tourists back. We're bringing the economy back. Let's not forget the people who did the work. Let's not forget the people who built that foundation. All right, so a new bill signed into law just yesterday requires hotels to pay severance to workers who have not been called back just yet. Yeah, and that bill was sponsored by Queens City Councilman Francisco Moya, who joins us this morning to explain why this legislation is so key to getting the city back on its feet. Good morning, Councilman Moya. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, always good to see you. Well, there are more than 40,000 hotel workers in New York City. Now, will they all be eligible for these severance payments? So there's criteria to this. Um, and basically, it's if they were um, uh, lost their employment uh, back in March uh, and they were uh, working at a hotel with over 100 rooms that is under uh, 25 percent occupancy, uh, they will be able to receive benefits uh, for severance of $500 um, that will be coming up now. Uh, what we want to do really, though, is this truly is more of a lifeline uh, for these hotel uh, workers that really have been the ambassadors yeah. uh, to the greatest city in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that what really drives the economy here uh, in New York uh, is the uh, tourism industry. We need to start reopening. Uh, we feel that uh, this legislation is actually what is the motivation behind the two uh, biggest hotel chains opening up again, mm -hmm. bringing people back uh, to work, but preparing ourselves for uh, the now a ban that is being lifted uh, for, for tourists to come in in November. So uh, we've got to start getting ourselves back on our feet, and this mm -hmm. is what this legislation does. So wh when do those severance payments begin then, and then how long would they actually last until? Yeah, so it could start as soon as next week, and it would go until uh, next year. It would be for one year. Uh, we believe that this is uh, where uh, it would be uh, fair enough that it gives the opportunity for uh, the hotels to get back uh, mm -hmm. on their feet, bring employees back in, um, and that year span that we would have uh, would be sufficient enough to, to really help a lot of these uh, hotel workers, uh, the majority of them uh, from immigrant communities, Latino, Black, and Asian communities. Uh, they are the ones that really have been driving uh, this economy for so many years. Uh, we really have to make sure that um, we are doing everything we can to um, really get these uh, essential workers back on their feet. Yeah, just to, just to be clear, it's for people who are, have not gone back to work yet, or is it to make up for the, the past time that they have not been at work? It, it, it starts from now. They'd be eligible if they lost their employment mm -hmm. uh, back in March Got of it. 2020. And, and then that's when we'd have about 30 weeks in which okay. they will uh, re be able to receive uh, the severance pay. And can we talk about how critical it is to get these benefits for those folks? I mean, I've had conversations with you before about how desperate some of these, you know, these laid off workers are right now. I mean, they're they're becoming vendors on the street just to try to make money. That's right. And look, uh, as I said, they have been our ambassadors to the greatest city in the world. It's time that we uh, in elected office uh, really be the ambassadors to help them uh, get back on their feet. Uh, these are individuals that have been laid off for um, uh, over a year now. Mm -hmm. um, it's the difference between putting food on the table and paying the rent. Uh, yeah. This is an opportunity for us uh, to really help them, uh, help their families, uh, but also to help really revitalize our economy. Uh, they have been the driving force of this. Uh, they are the people that are greeting folks that come in from uh, all over the world uh, of why, why we've had record number of tourism uh, that, that, that took place uh, last year, 67 million uh, to be exact. Uh, and it could not have been done uh, without the work 
that goes into that with the hotel workers that really uh, make a difference uh, in the lives of so many who really enjoy uh, our city. Right. Uh, but, but we have to really make sure that we're doing our part to help them uh, get back on their feet as well. Absolutely. You know, it is all about the big comeback for so many. Councilman Moya, thank you for being here this morning. Keep us posted, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right.